Right. Uh, right. Screen <coughs> screen programming is also called as dialog programming. It's also called module tool programming. Okay, the D code for screen programming is SC51. Okay, if I go to SC51, so we can do the screen screen painter actually. That means we can design the screens. And the each screen <laughs> program can have zero 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 to nine 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 that is ten thousand screens except thousand to two thousand which are reserved for SAP. Okay. So this the thousand to two thousand screens we cannot use it except those screens we can use any screen for developing the screen programming. Okay. Now if I see here, let say let us uh, see this PPT. This is a screen, right? Suppose <coughs> I have designed in such a way that welcome to screen and temp display clear and exit. This is the screen which we have and flow logic. Process before total process option. Okay, this is the what is process before open process option for are the events actually. So the specific events what we have for this is we're going to have process before output and process after input. Okay. Now here if you see there is a program coming over here data <coughs> temp and all so, so what we what is this code will come to know shortly so here <coughs> when we execute the screen okay first it will go to process before output so what is the meaning of process before output is suppose for example a movie shooting is there so at the time of shooting only we will see the movie or uh, our total shooting is done then we'll see the movie so after shooting is done uh, there will be a release date and at the time we will see the movie in the same way uh, there is a what you call uh, in the same way we have like a process, uh, process before output means uh, that means any action need to be performed before the screen executes is called process before output. So if I want to perform some action which is before output, so that means before the screen executes. So those things need to be declared in process before output. Okay. Now, so what is the process after input means? Any action which need to be performed after the screen executes is called process after input okay now here if you see when a screen executes first it goes to where and check actually it goes to process before output so it will go there step one and then it will go to second screen okay that will go to second screen I mean that one and then here if I click on it, display button, so there is a, what you call uh, this one. When I click on the button, then it will go to process after input module. And this module will have process, uh, ex, 
like after input, uh, that means the code will be written in the program. So that is the fifth step. And if any value need to be written, so that will be written, that is SAP is returning into the screen, that is sixth step. And in the seventh step, again, it will go to the process before output, and then it will return to the screen. This is the way how the, uh, the screen executes. So that means internally you should know what is uh, what is going to be executed after what okay so i'll repeat again so process before output when the screen executes it will come to the process before output and then go to the screen and it will check the design and if any push buttons are there when we click on the push button it will go to process after input and that process after input logic will be written in the program in the form of module and end module because we cannot write the logic in the flow logic Okay, all the logics are written, but the main logic is in flow logic only, but we cannot write the code here. So we will write the code in between module and module, like subroute in form and form. So we write like module and module. Okay. Now, in this, there are some rules like every screen field on the screen, define a corresponding program field in the program with a same name and data type okay if you execute pbo input output and pi in program so the screen field should be equal to the program fields so if i go to temp then it will return the same value to the program fields and the same way written also from the program it will go to pbo again and to the screen so here also the program field should be equal to the screen field. Okay. So the program field should be equal to the screen fields. And here also the template is the same. Okay. Now, so let us see how to design the screens. Karthik, uh, did you send the assignments yesterday? I didn't. Uh, so did you oh, keep it in a that. box or anywhere? Yeah, I'll upload it now. <laughs> Just yes, give me works. one. Minute. I'll upload now only. It's better. Uh, Actually, you know, this is office laptop. So I'll upload from the this one. Okay, my personal laptop. I got the charger, so I'll upload from that. Okay? Yeah, no problem. No problem. Right, so here, <coughs> the transaction code for screen painter is, I told you, SE51, right? So if I go to SE51, here, I say, and screen 1, suppose. And here I need to give any screen number, say 100, suppose, and create. What it is saying? does not exist why it is saying does not exist i am creating now for sap it's 1000 to uh no, it's hundred only. But I'm given hundred. So the problem here is, before creating the program in the screen printer, first we need to create the program in the let's see that here, the same name. So here, if you see, 
I, I have created as an executable type program, right? So whenever you create an executable type program, so you need to say call screen and screen number, right? So now double click on the screen, press yes, it will redirect to the screen painter. So it is going inside. So say screen one, go to layout. Layout is for what? To design. So these are all the screen components, text field, input output field, checkbox, radio button, uh, push button, ta tab strip control, tab strip control with insert. So like this, these are all screen components which you design. So click on it, text and drag it. So click on this, set text one. Welcome to say screen programming like this. <clears throat> now, so this is the button for exit. Click on it and say PB1. This is the quick button name. Wherever you see the pink color, those are mandatory fields. So here I say exit and function code. Say any function code, any special character we can give. Say suppose E. So this is the way how what I desire. So, so this is the box. So if I click on the box and just make it like this, so I come the box, activate it. Uh, Karthik, can we give the button and all these uh, features to the report uh, that we have already generated? Uh, where, which one you are saying? Like uh, suppose, for example, we have generated report, right? Means ALB reports. So in that, suppose if we need like a button uh, to display something, having text display the uh, filtered customer, kind of button can we give the in that report? Yeah, ALV we are getting the buttons, right? Uh, okay, means, okay, yeah, fine. ALV, it's by default, we get the buttons. Don't need okay. to worry. Okay. Okay. Mm. Now, just to go back, now here we have this module pool, module process before output and process after input. Now here what I need to do, uncomment this. So here double click on this, press yes, create in the main program. Mm -hmm. Right, so it comes like this. Then here we need to write the program. So say leave program I'm writing. Okay. Now so activate the program. Activate the program and then here, uh, what we do, make sure the screen is also activated. Now, so here when I execute this, so it prints welcome to screen programming and exit button, right? So this, this is the screen which we got it. Now when I press exit, then it exits. Is that clear? Yes, Karthik. Right. Uh, now, Karthik, can you just scroll up once? Slightly yeah. scroll up? Okay, thank you. This is the maximum, right? Okay. Maximum. Okay. Report. So, where exactly did you... So, okay, this is in the SC38, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. So this, okay. The this other is window the, is the... This is the screen. Okay, the call window. Yeah, okay, okay, call it. Got it? Uh -huh. When I double click on this, it will go to AC38. Okay. 
I mean, he is just a dummy. No. He didn't keep anything right. That's the point. Where, where? This is just a basic one. You did not keep anything, right? I mean, yeah. you have to keep some code on the process after input, correct? Yes, but I put the code now in the leave program. Can you see that? Okay. Uh, what now, does the leave program do? Yeah, that's what. See, if I execute this. Okay. If I execute, can you see this button? Mm -hmm. Button, exit button. Yes. So if I click it, it will exit. Okay. Clear? Yes. Right. Now in the same way, if I go and design, TV2 say display button. Right? And I want to take input output field box and say temp is the name of the input output field box. So here just activate it. So now see this you get the screen like this fine but here the problem is what hmm? is the problem is when I press display button also it exits the program okay why? Because so we have written in the new program only we have written. Yep. So we need to differentiate it. So how to differentiate is, so in the ALV interact report, when we click on some function code is generated, I told you, right? Yes. You remember? Yep. So how, how it is captured? What is the system field? It captures the uh, functional code. S Y L S. S Y U come. No. Yeah. S Y U. Yeah. So case okay. here also the same. The functional codes are there, right? E. I have place for display D and for exit E, right? Mm -hmm. If I say case, S Y U come. Then D. So the variable. What is the name I have declared? Temp, right? So the same name I need to use it. Temp of size 10 type C. When D, temp equal to SAP. When E, temp equal to, um, when E, leave program. End case. This is the right, this is the way we write the code. Okay. Now just activate it. Okay. Now here. Execute this. So when I say display, display SAP. When I say exit, it exits. Clear? Mm -hmm. The same way, go back and go to layout. And click on the reset button.
so here i say what is when r leave uh, clear them this is the way i write it clear Okay, so can you please show the screen once? Yeah. So when I said display, we said. Exit. Okay. No. another input output field say temp1 ok activate it say 30 type C so here I say temp equal to SAP and temp equal to systems apps products and if you want to clear clear them you have to give temp one right yeah sorry So here when I say display, displays SAP and system apps products. When I say reset, it resets. Exit, exits. But here, if you observe, VA01 transaction, I say ZOR 01010, enter. Go back, can you see here? You are getting the names here, right? ZOR sales organization Germany direct sales pumps right what are these actually the values for those particular uh, you know description for the values mm -hmm. so they, those are coming in the boxes or normally they are actually there might be a hidden box or something right Yes, so we need to do the same thing for our business. Here, we will dis it is displaying as boxes are there, right? Mm -hmm. But what I want is, I want to print system apps products with the hidden box. So how to do that is, go to layout. Double click on this, here go to program and say output only, ok, activate it. Go back to that, can you see now, so when I say display, it comes like this. Okay. 
next check box Server is not coming actually. Okay, now here go to. So here we need to write call screen. So go to layout. So here, take one input output field box. And this is the checkbox. CB1, you can put a checkbox. Say SAP. CB2, say ABAP. And display button. PP1, say display. Case so you come when D if C B one is equal to X and C B two equal to X temp equal to S A P else if checkbox is equal to X This is empty, but a This is X empty.
then temp equal to and then pass message like I display like ending okay so here So here when E, what should happen? So here activate it and run it. So when I say SAP display, it is not going right because let us see the program. Make sure the screen is activated. It is inactive. Activate this. Now if I execute this, SAP display, like this, okay, hello, yes, is that clear, yep, right, here I, what I want is, when I click on SAP itself without pressing display button, I need to get the SAP in that. What I need to do for that? You have to set a condition, uh, you know. So, now after checking the display, you are doing that uh, Sai UCOM, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to keep a you come after the ticking the box, right? Check box. Yes. Yes. And then based on that, you can just display the thing. So what I need to do is here. When I click on SAP and set display button, so it displays. It should, it is displaying now SAP, but when I click on SAP itself, I need to get it. So for that, what I need to do is, go to screen layout. So in this, for SAP, this one only, just give the functional code, say CB, something. And it's same for IBAP also. Checkbox. And activate it. That means functional code is given for this one. So instead of CB, that's it. Okay, so basically, so you come will only work if the field is given function code, correct? Yes, yes. And if I recollect, you know, in the report, how are you giving the functional code? I mean, that is, that's what when I click on customer number, the functional code will be generated internally. That is captured by S Y U C O M. Okay, uh, I mean, the declaring part. How did you say that? this particular one needs a functional code. How See, did you declare that? Just trying to correlate because it's just... Yeah. Sorry? See, we, 
there we are clicking on the customer number right exactly that customer number related uh, orders how can i how can the system knows see if here also if i say when d okay and uh, actually what i told when i tick on sap itself i need to get it right yes but what is uh, even though if i click on sap now it is not coming why because system is not recognizing that sy you come okay so here when i say cb only which is given for that particular functional i mean for that particular this one check box then only okay. system in the same way there when i click on customer number the functional code which is coming should be uh, generated and captured by sy you come internally okay okay so see this mm -hmm. okay any doubt no problem yep yeah next radio button This is the radio button. So I say, hmm. RB2 fail. Right? But just if you see when I activate and run it, It is coming for both. Radio button is nothing but what? It's a concept of getting for only one. Right? Yes. But here it is selecting both at a time. So that means they are not in a group. So make sure we make them a group. So how to make a group is just select these two. Go to edit grouping radio button group define okay now here i am putting the name as r so automatically for functional fail also it will show r because both are in one group okay okay now here so as both are in one group now what i do is just go back and write the code So here what I do is comment all this when R <clears throat> okay if R B1 is equal to X can be equal to pass else fail only two options we have So here we need to declare RB1 and RB2 on the top. Still they are not in group. Huh?
एम ग्रुप ना ओह इट इज नॉट एक्टिव सो वेन आई सेलेक्ट पास पास फेल फेल ओके सो आई गिव वन असाइनमेंट यू ट्राई इट व्हाट इज दैट इज रेडियो बटन थ्री फर्स्ट डिविजन रेडियो बटन फोर सेकंड डिविजन रेडियो बटन फाइव थर्ड डिविजन ओके नाउ व्हाट आई वांट इज make it one group so now they are in r1 right so automatically for second division third division also it will show r1 only so my requirement is when i select pass i need to get an option of selecting any of these three okay when i select fail this three should disappear You understand? Meaning, they should not even show up. Am I correct? Yes, because for fail there won't be any first division, second division, third division, right? Yeah. But tell me one thing. Before you know, you wrote pass when fail, right? The grouping is in R one only, right? R. This is different group. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Will you try that? Okay. So try. Please this. include. Uh, please include that uh, program name in the assignment uh, mail. Whatever you are sending, or you know, let me at least the screenshot or anything. Because basically okay. you are asking us to check in your program, right? How we can write the code using your program? Yes. I mean, you develop the code by creating one program okay. like this. Okay. Design. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. In the recording, it will be there, right? So you could design it. better okay okay yeah. yep thank you all right thank you much yeah, thank you. thanks god bye bye